Hey guys, good morning. Today is Thursday, <laughs> October 28th. Whew, sit down. I took Jesse to school this morning and I went to the post office to drop off my orders. They're all dropped off, they're on their way to y'all. Well, later today, I guess. They're probably still sat at the post office. <laughs> but, um, and I bought some Christmas stamps for Christmas cards. I also paid my post office bill, it was due. <laughs> So, um, anyways, while I was standing there, I was feeling pretty rough. I could tell my blood pressure was up again just by the way I was feeling. And I don't have any seats in there. <laughs> so, I, um, I just stood there and got done with all the stuff I needed to do. And I uh, got back in the car and I called my OB. And, uh, at the time, no one was in there. So, I started driving home and then they called me <laughs> in the car. Luckily, our car, my phone connects to the car. So, like, I can answer the phone. And just talk in the car and they can hear me <laughs> i don't know what that's called bluetooth or whatever but um they want to they want me to come in in a little while to be seen because my blood pressure spiked three times yesterday along with dizziness tunnel vision and also my face got like super red and hot <laughs> so uh they want to you know check me out and see what's going on i'm hoping it's something to do with preeclampsia, I'm hoping it's just blood pressure and that um, maybe they can give me some medicine to control it or something. I don't know. But I came home and I checked it and it was a little high when I got home. I couldn't check it in the car. I meant to take my cup with me and I forgot. So uh, I'm pretty sure it was high at the post office. And I came home and now Devin's asleep because he has to work tonight. So my mom's going to come take me to the Dolby because I don't want to drive that far by myself with my blood pressure being above head <laughs> so I'm eating an apple <laughs> waiting for her to come but um yeah I'm bummed out because the only time they could see me was 10 30 which is the exact same time I'm supposed to go get a pedicure today with my mother-in-law it's not meant for me to get a pedicure I don't think <laughs> I uh because every time I start to try to do something like that it gets canceled but obviously the baby's more important than my feet so um I told my you know I talked to my mother-in-law she's fine with it she went you know she offered to go with me and everything. And, um, but I tell her my mom's coming because my mom's always coming with me. <laughs> um, I'm definitely a baby to my mom. But anyways, um, so I'm going to update her later whenever they, I don't even know what they're going to do. I guess they're going to check my urine to see if there's any proteins in it. Uh, might do blood work. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Because <laughs> when, when my blood pressure started messing up when I was pregnant with Jesse. It was at the very end. So when it started messing up, they just induced me. I was 39 weeks pregnant. I was 39 weeks, six days. So like I was, he was born the day before his due date. <laughs> so it was so far that they didn't even bother, you know. They were like, oh, well, let's just induce her, which was fine, you know. But uh, definitely not that time now. I'm only 25 weeks, and I want her to cook in there as long as possible. She's kicking a lot yesterday and today, so she's still moving around. But, um. I don't know, I'm just worried because of my whole placenta issue and all that. I'm worried that maybe it's coming up a little or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> trying to freak myself out, but I want to be prepared also in case something happens and I end up in the hospital or something, which I hope doesn't happen because I got plans this weekend <laughs> with my little boy. But rain's moving in anyways tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. So all the trunk or treats that we were planning on going to, we probably won't get to go to anyways, except the few that's indoors. But it's supposed to be nice weather uh, Sunday, which is Halloween. Devin's got to work today and tomorrow, and then he's off for three days. Our anniversary is on Monday, our anniversary of dating. We celebrate that anniversary and our marriage anniversary. So this Monday, we would we would have been dating for, or been together for eight years. And I already told Devin that I didn't want to do anything that day, except maybe get some food. But I tell him that I want to just stay home and relax all day and not do anything, not do any, like, no catch your name stuff or anything like that. I just want to stay home and relax but um I just chill you know and spend time together and rest my big pregnant body you know my big belly <laughs> it's been hurting really bad on the left side though and I thought it was just round ligament pain but I don't know if it's maybe connected to the placenta issues or the re the blood pressure issues like it's hurting really bad and I don't remember hurting this bad with Jesse it's hurting right now <laughs> like on a scale of one to ten I'd say it's like a six and uh it was yesterday and the day before that and it's also the days my blood pressure was sparking 
Um, so I guess they might do ultrasound maybe or something. I don't know. But my groin area also hurts, like pressure, which is normal during pregnancy, but I always thought it was further into pregnancy. It hurts when I walk and I can't lift my legs very high. And all this, you know, I thought, you know, it's normal. But this pain in the side is just really hurting. So I'm, I don't, I'm not exactly sure where my placenta is. <laughs> I haven't asked. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the, the X, uh, ultrasounds, but they're flipped. So I'm, I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, anyways, we're going to get checked out and then I'll update you guys. And um, I got the major things done today that I needed to get done, which is get Jesse to school <laughs> and get um, the Etsy orders out. So the only other thing I was going to do today was I got a video I was going to record later. A national holiday video but it, you know it's not important <laughs> and uh i was gonna start cutting some fabric today for my next updates but again it can all wait <laughs> so i'm sitting here waiting for my mom to come she'll probably be here in a minute because she only lives like seven minutes away <laughs> and uh she panics uh anytime one of us kids needs her and she comes flying you know but i'm gonna go off here and eat my apple and drink some more water so that if they do blood work i've got nice plump veins i already chugged one water <laughs> bottle and i'm gonna chug another one uh, cause I hate it when they can't find a vein, <laughs> but, um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Hopefully everything will be okay. Hey guys, it's me. It's later. <laughs> Obviously it's me. I don't know why I always say that. <laughs> I'm to find somewhere to put you where you're not going to slide. Um, I think it's the cringe. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here at my computer. I'm about to edit a video I just recorded for today. <clears throat> my back is hurting. I just took a towel so I went to the doctor and they checked my blood pressure a few times while I was there and my pee. <laughs> um, and they checked on the baby. Everything was fine with her. She, her heart rate was good and she's moving around like crazy <laughs> constantly. They didn't seem like horribly concerned. Um, so, but they are going to start seeing me every two weeks now instead of waiting until I'm in my third, uh, third trimester. So I gotta go back in two weeks anyways, which is when I was supposed to go back anyways. <laughs> um, for monitoring it, uh, and they also want me to make sure I stay hydrated, which I normally do. I drink a ton of water, which I hate because I hate, I don't like drinking water, but, uh, I don't like getting UTIs either, and I, I'm prone to them if I don't drink a lot of water. Um, yeah, so, it was just basically an appointment where they checked on her. She was fine. My blood pressure keeps going up and down, but, um. She said if it continues and gets worse, then they will put me on a medicine for it. And then they'll obviously start watching a lot closer to make sure that I'm not developing preeclampsia, uh, which is what I'm worried about because I had it with Jesse. But uh, so far, so good. Everything's turning out, you know, so good. <laughs> My back is killing me. I don't know if the baby is pushing on something that she's not supposed to be pushing on or if I hurt it, maybe. I know I was busy this last week a lot, getting bags sewn and packaged up and all that takes a lot out of me. <laughs> and um also all the halloween stuff and i think uh i need to listen to my mom and my doctor and my husband and most of y'all <laughs> and take a step back and chill out for a little while so i'm gonna rest a lot this weekend uh we had a lot of plans this weekend but also a big rainstorm's moving in uh it rained already today some and it's supposed to rain friday and saturday uh but it's supposed to clear up for halloween so that's good that we still get to go trick-or-treating i just might be the one driving the car this year and devin getting out with jesse because it might kill me to get in and out of the car a million times. But uh, I'm still going to be recording because I have to record him trick-or-treating. I do that every year. But um, I just need to take a step back and relax for a little while. And I know that I overdo it a lot. And I know that a lot of y'all tell me that. <laughs> but it's just my personality. I'm a top A personality. If you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> and uh, I hate when things don't go as planned. And I'm a planner. I plan out every moment of my day. <laughs> if you guys could see my phone and my alarms that are set and my notepad, everything written down that I need to do that day and the next day. I have right here is my, my notepad, my physical notepad of all of our bills and uh, expenses between now and January. <laughs> I have everything planned out early so that um, things go the way they're supposed to go. It's just my personality is how I always have been. So when things start not going that way, it uh, stresses me out. So, uh, I know it's been happening a lot lately because of the pregnancy and I'm just trying to, uh, mentally get around that because it's hard to change your personality. Um, so I'm working on it. <laughs> like I said the other day, yesterday, I have fabric pulled out to start cutting and I'll probably work on that sometime this weekend, but I'm going to take today. Today's Thursday. Yeah. Today and tomorrow I'll just rest. 
a lot. Tomorrow, uh, the only bill I have to go pay in person <laughs> is our rent, and it's just, I have to walk up the sidewalk and drop it into a box. So, um, and I already did grocery shopping. On the way home from the, do the doctor today, me and my mom stopped at Walmart. My mom took me because Devin's sleeping. Um, because I had to pick up Jesse some mouthwash, Devin some body wash, and I had to get some more Tums. Because <laughs> I've been eating Tums like crazy. Um, and the ones that we bought last time are yucky. They're like tropical flavor and they taste horrible. So I went back to my berry flavor ones. They're much better. <laughs> but, um, and I, uh, I, yeah, we got a loaf of bread. <laughs> I thought I forgot, but I did. And I got a box of orange juice because I've been craving an orange juice. Which is weird because I normally don't like orange juice. But I got some. <laughs> so uh, I just ate some leftover pizza and watched some Chicago Med. And then I decided to record my video because I wanted to get it out today. So I'm going to edit that real fast and then I'm going to go out to the car because I have my crochet in there. <laughs> get my blanket out and um, work on it and just relax until time to wake Devin up and time to go get Jesse. And then today and the rest of today and tomorrow I'm just going to try to take it easy and rest a lot. <laughs> and um, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. But I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, it's been a while. It's seven something my face is really red <laughs> but i just filled out my first two christmas cards i'm not mailing them yet but i'm going ahead and you know writing the notes putting their addresses on there and i think i'm going to print some things for my address and i got stamps today i bought three books of stamps christmas stamps i bought all the christmas stamps my post office had <laughs> so if someone else wants them they're gonna have to wait but i got a little laundry dryer i need to pull out it's got mine and jesse's clothes in it and i only washed them tonight because me or him are both out of pants <laughs> we need pants but yeah so um i have a list of podcasters i'm also going to send christmas cards to but it's on my computer so i have to do that in there and jesse's watching tv you can probably hear it in the background side so i'm going to pull that laundry out so we can get some pants for tomorrow <laughs> and um then i'm going there and just fill out some christmas cards to the podcasters and go ahead and write their addresses on envelopes and get them all ready to go out i usually send out my christmas cards uh, in like the first or second week of November because I like sending Christmas cheer and uh, there's a couple I need to send out now because some of them are going to go to different countries and uh, it takes a while to get there so yeah I got a, I got a lot of them to fill out and uh, I'm looking forward to it these are two people who responded to my call for swapping Christmas cards so there's more people who responded but I have to respond back to them to get their addresses because they responded via comment and these two responded via email so Y'all are the first two. It is, I think it, I think it's Marin, Marin, and Pemda. Here's your cards. <laughs> I got to um, get on my computer also and design a label for me. And I gotta get some labels. Cause I don't have any more of those printer labels for, um, you know, address labels. I gotta get some more of those. And um, make me some cute Christmas ones. I had some last year, but I think I might have used them all. I don't know. But, yay, I'm excited. It's Christmas time. I'm so happy. 